Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. It's that time of the month again when we are moving into a new month and looking at the monthly flying stars chart for the next month, which would be the metal dog month, Geng Xu. And this metal dog month will go on from the 8th of October all the way until November 6th. So obviously, as always, we want to make sure that we make good use of all the energies um, so that we can move into the last quarter of the year on a positive note and get as much done as possible before Christmas hits and then all the New Year's uh, celebration. So this is actually a very, very good month. There's a lot of good sectors when it comes to career and money. So I would say let's make use of that. So um, firstly, as always, we look at the really, really good sectors, the positive sectors. And the first one that springs to mind is this one here, the Southwest. So in the Southwest sector, um, we have an energy that is very, very good. Uh, if you want to meet new people, have important business meetings, or even just you know family meetings where you want to discuss a certain issue or a certain topic, then do that in the Southwest sector this month. It's it's a happy energy and it will make sure that everything that you do is infused with some positive and good energy. Now, it's especially a good sector for those of you who are in the real estate and property um, related industries because the number two annual star is also in the Southwest. So there may be some happy uh, business meetings um with um with respect to property and real estate so if you are in that industry and you want to hold an important meeting with an important client do that in the southwest sector of your office now then we've got the northwest which is also a very very nice sector here um it's especially good for short term projects so not something that is dragging on for months and months or even years but if you want to get something done this month then uh put yourself into the northwest sector while you get while you go at it yeah it's short term projects that have a tight deadline you can you can make sure that you hit those deadlines and that you succeed in the northwest sector it's also a great area to uh place yourself in if you are um, studying for an exam, yeah, so if you need to concentrate and focus on a particular subject matter, this is a great sector to be in as well. So steady business growth, concentration, focus, and short-term projects, yeah, short-term because you need to kind of like concentrate ex intensively for a short period of time. Uh, the Northwest is the sector to use. Now, one thing need, you need to be a little bit careful with when you're using the Northwest sector, um, make sure that while you are in the Northwest sector, you don't agree to lending money to friends and family, not this month and not in this sector. Yeah, you can do it somewhere else in the home or, or at your office. But if you are sitting in the Northwest sector of your home or your office and you may get a call or you may get an email, uh, from a friend or family asking you to lend them money. Um, don't take a decision while you are there sitting in this sector. Yeah, think it through and then maybe take a decision somewhere else, but not in this sector because uh, there may be a chance that you might not get the money back if you do it there. All right. But other than that, this is a fabulous sector. Now, another one that's really good is the North. Well, we have the number eight monthly star. It's the wealth star. It's it's also a cash flow star. So obviously this is great. If you want to uh, generate a little bit more cash flow, then locate yourself here and work on your side gig or do anything that has uh, anything to do with money and finances. So this would also be a great sector, for example, if you want to consolidate your finances or even start making a plan, a financial plan for the next year. Yeah, because we are coming close to the end of the year. So some of you may already be starting to think about next year's budget. So the North sector would be a great sector to actually do that from. And then we've got the Northeast, which is also a really, really nice sector this month. Now, this one brings a lot of career opportunities with the monthly number six. 
So career opportunities in the sense that if you are looking to get a promotion, if you are looking to get a pay rise, if you are looking to uh, maybe get more responsibility in your job, in your career, then do anything that has to do with this particular desire from the Northeast sector of your home or your office. Now, if you are uh, applying for jobs, do it in the Northeast sector. If you are writing your CV, do it in the Northeast sector. If you are having an interview and um, maybe it's over Zoom or over Skype or whatever, then it would be great to have it in the Northeast. Now, if the Northeast if you, is your bathroom, then make sure that you use a nice background. Um, be sure to not make that mistake that you're just uh, taking a phone call from the toilet. But other than that, everything career related uh, should be done in the Northeast sector. It's a really, really strong energy that supports you and gives you uh, more power and more support at the workplace, right? Now, um, for relationships, um, the Northwest is quite good as well. Um, here, the Northwest, good one for relationships. The one you need to be careful of when it comes to relationship is the South sector. Um, the South sector has an energy this month that features um, disagreements, arguments, small niggling problems. Yeah, not something that is absolutely massive, but it's just it, um, it, it has a disharmony energy in there. So if your master bedroom is in the South sector, then you may get into slightly more arguments with your spouse. And so the suggestion would just be to keep things as calm as possible. Don't get into arguments that are over trivial, trivial matters, like who is taking out the trash or anything like that. Yeah. Just Better not to argue because that can trigger something that will not be very, very pleasant. Now, that's if your bedroom is in the South. If you're not, uh, if you don't spend much time in the South as a couple or if it's just a living room or a dining area, then you really don't have to worry uh, too much about it. Um, or if you are scared about this number seven and, and you have the option to move to a different bedroom, then I would choose the, the Northwest or the Southwest. Southwest is also a very good area to sleep in for a couple this uh, this month. Now, the East um, is an okay sector for academic matters. So it's actually quite a, it's quite a good energy, but it's just specifically for academics. It's specifically for educational purposes. So if your children struggle with homework, put them in the East sector or the Northwest, also supportive of, of studying. So either or the East or the Northwest, it's good if you need to prepare for an exam or if you um, need to do some homework that requires a lot of thinking um, and is quite difficult, do that in the East sector. So this is mostly for academic endeavors um this month now there are two sectors that we really don't like so much uh this october and the first one would be here the southeast where we have the uh, monthly illness star now the southeast um if you are healthy if you um are relatively fit then you don't have to worry too much about being in that sector it's, it's not going to harm you in any way but let's say you are chronically ill or you have an elderly person in your household or maybe you have an infant, then they should ideally not sleep in the Southeast sector during the month of October because that can aggravate issues a little bit and it's not so great. Um, but again, if your bedroom is in the Southeast and you're young and healthy and you're not really, uh, you don't have any issues, at least that you know of, uh, you don't need to be afraid of the southeast at all. You can definitely, um, you can definitely sleep there. Now there is also a conflict potential uh, with the southeast sector, so there may be a tension between the females at home or even at work. So let's say you are a female and you are sleeping in the southeast sector, you may find that you don't really get along this month with 
the females in your family or your female friends or your female co-workers yeah same if you are a female and you have uh, your desk in the southeast sector at your workplace same effect yeah you may there may be some friction with females uh, doesn't necessarily have to be anything bad but it's just it seems like there's a little bit uh, there's a cog in the system yeah so it's not really all that smooth or harmonious again nothing too much to worry about just use common sense uh, and you will be absolutely fine and lastly, the one sector that we would like to avoid for major activities or important activities would be the West sector. The West sector is uh, has the calamity star of the month, the number five. And it's really not a great sector if you want to do any career planning, any financial planning, um, any important discussions or conversations with friends, family, co-workers. Don't do it in the West sector, yeah? You can do it anywhere else, but just not in the West. Stay away from there whenever it comes to making important decisions or, or taking an important action, and then you will be okay. All right, so this is the forecast for the month of October. Um, I hope you can make the best out of the good sectors that we have, and don't be too scared of the ones that are not so great. Uh, they're not going to harm you if you know what not to do while you're in a particular area of your home or your office. If you do have any questions, please get in touch with me, put a comment uh, below or get in touch with me directly. And uh, I would love it if you liked the video, shared it with anybody who may be interested and subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you so much. See you soon.